first, we're talking about a celebrity with a Pittsburgh connection. You probably know him from Cheers and other TV shows. Yeah, probably everyone knows his name. We're talking about Ted Danson. I had a chance to sit down with him and found out that a Pittsburgh place has a very special place in his heart. Making your way in the world today. When you think Ted Danson, you can't help but think of Sam Malone, the bar owner from Cheers he played for 11 years. I didn't know you thought I was attractive. You rose to stardom as an iconic television star. But years before the stardom, he studied acting in Pittsburgh at Carnegie Mellon School of Drama, a 1972 graduate, and the university recently presented him with an honorary doctorate. Carnegie Mellon is honored to award you the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. He waved to fans in the crowd who shouted his name and while on campus, posed for pics with graduates. Congratulations, thank you. good luck. Thanks. Very happy to be here to say thank you. The doctorate part, you know, well, I'll hang, I'll hang my robe and hat next to my cowboy hat and my little Indian headdress, you know, all my other make-believe clothes, because it doesn't really ring true. I'm an actor, thank God, because uh, as an academic, it, no, it was not gonna happen. Ted grew up in Arizona, the son of an archaeologist, and says being an actor was kind of like running away to the circus. But at CMU... I got to bury myself in what was my passion. He did find time, however, for a summer job here at the Continental Can Company in West Mifflin. So what did you do? You made cans? <laughs> <laughs> I made havoc. Uh, is what I did. Actually, he helped package empty shaving cream cans. So his job was... To take this wooden fork with eight prongs and put them in the end of the foaming cans and then put them in a box like this for eight hours. <laughs> the next, when I came to work, I was in a sling the next day. <laughs> a more favorable memory, how delicious, he says, the onion rings were at the Squirrel Hill Cafe. But it was his opportunity to dive into theater here that he loved the most. Very easygoing, very sweet. And as an actor, he's so spontaneous and free. Tony McKay teaches acting at CMU, but he also graduated from there and was a couple years ahead of Ted. But I knew him better after I left school. I directed him in two plays in New York. I remember the producer of, the, of one of the plays the next Cary Grant. Of course, Ted's charm is undeniable. Whether he's solving crimes on CSI, D.B. Russell, new guy. Or being irritable on Becker. It's a fluke, for God's sake, Mr. Ehrlich, what the hell's the matter with you? From TV, his newest role is on The Good Place, to movies. Good night, sweetheart. Remember Three Men and a Baby? And check out one of his earliest films. You better get your foot out of the door, you're gonna lose about half of it. Creep Show was directed by fellow CMU grad George Romero, and Ted's character met a terrifying demise. But it's the role of Sam Malone that won him two Emmys, and why does he think Cheers was such a hit? You never really know why things are popular, but it's the writing. It was funny. It was funny. And with shows like Will and Grace and Murphy Brown coming back... Would you ever consider a reboot of Cheers? Not a prayer, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are aging adolescents 30 years ago. Misbehaving in a bar and being adolescent when you're 70, that's so funny. While Ted says he often has things in common with the characters he plays. All the foibles that he portrays on TV, Sam Malone's vanity, Dr. Becker's ill temper, I've never known him to possess those. And as for CMU, he has nothing but gratitude. What an amazing opportunity it is to say thank you to Carnegie Mellon, to the drama department, because it was everything in my life. And here's something you may not know. He's an environmental activist. Ted has actually written a book about saving the oceans. And you've met a lot of celebrities. What was he like? You know, very relaxed, very genuine. I instantly liked him. Good stuff.